Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to get started using Diversion as your version control system for your Unreal Engine project. You will need three things. You need a Diversion installed in your computer. You need a version of the Unreal Editor installed, as well as the Diversion plugin from the Epic Marketplace. I'll show you how to do everything. So start by heading over to diversion.dev and click on get started. You can either log in or sign up. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm going to log in using my Google account. And then you see that here on the web UI, I have a view of all my repositories. If this is the first time that you get to this uh, site, you won't see anything, but head over to the upper right corner to download the desktop app. And uh, we have the desktop app for all the operating systems. If you're on Mac or Linux, you need to copy and paste this script into a terminal window. If you're on Windows, you just need to install, uh, download the installer and follow the steps to install Diversion. Once uh, you finish installing, you will open the Diversion desktop app. I'm going to show you that in a second. You also need to sign in and you'll get a similar view uh, as the one you previously saw on the web UI. In this case, it's the same account that I'm logged in and uh, you can perform all the actions Diversion has within the desktop app. However, we're going to initialize our repository from within Unreal and not from within the desktop app, although you could achieve that uh, in here as well. So the next step is let's open up the Epic Games launcher to get the plugin first. So here's the launcher. If you Make sure that you're on the Unreal Engine option and then Marketplace. Search for Diversion. And then install it into the engine. By the way, if you like it, uh, leave us a five star review. So I'm going to click Install to the engine. This is the version I want to install it to. And then I simply click Install. Great, now let's launch Unreal Engine. And I'm going to create a new project, although you can uh, set up Diversion with an existing project. So in this case, I'm selecting a blank project. I'm going to name it Hello Diversion. I'm going to create it. And then we need to set up the plugin first. So head over to Edit, Plugins, and then search for Diversion. Enable it, and then restart the editor. Once it uh, restarts, we just need to uh, set Diversion in this case. So uh, let's close this window and go to the upper right corner and connect to revision control. Now, as a provider, you're going to choose diversion. And you will initialize the project with diversion. For you to be able to do this, remember, you need to have the desktop app uh, running and installed, of course. So I'm going to initialize the project. What diversion is going to do is going to use the root of my repository as the root of my repo and will create a repo in the diversion cloud. Done. I'm going to click on accept settings and we're good to go. Now we can start adding assets, modifying assets, etc. I'm going to add this texture over here. I'll drag and drop it. You can see that the plugin is telling me uh, with that question mark that an, uh, an asset was added, but it's not keeping track of that. So you can save the file or you can right click on this asset and then revision control and then mark for add. Now the icon will change from question mark to the plus sign. That means if I go to revision control, submit content and create a commit, that file will be added to my uh, repository. So type a description and, and uh, those are other assets that were added uh, by the engine. So added based on real engine project. You want to type a, a, a descriptive message, submit, and then we have created a commit into our repository. So people working on the same branch will get the changes immediately 
after I do that. Now let's do it with another type of asset, in this case, an actor blueprint. So I create it. I'm going to open it, see that it has the question mark. And I'm not going to make any change. I'm just going to save the asset, close it. And then you see that the asset is marked to be added. So I'm sub submit the content, create a description message and submit it. So, so far we have created two commits. Let's see in the desktop app, the history of the commits. So this is my repository is now showing up here. I click on it. If I click on history, we'll see our two commits. And just ignore the first one because that's the initial commit when we initialize the, the repo. But uh, that's it. That's all you need to get started with diversion. So see you soon.